Today, we will be doing a technical walkthrough of the Aerolab Pro Fitter system. We'll be working with Matt Singbell, one of our field engineers, to look at optimizing the equipment performance and go through an array of options. When getting set up for a test, every detail is important. One of these important details is power meter selection. The power meter we're using today on the time trial bike is a Crank Spider power meter. We use a number of different power meters from trusted suppliers, and I suggest you check out our blog online to learn more. One of the tools that we like to use is the tire whiz. The accuracy of the tire pressure at the valve is much better than a traditional pumping system. Another tool that we recommend using but is not mandatory is the wheel speed sensor. What it does is it takes up any problems related to a poor signal in a GPS area or weather conditions. Weighing the rider as a complete system, meaning they're holding their bike, all of the gear they plan to use is with them on that scale and not just the rider weight. At this point, we can add an athlete. Matt's already in our system as a selected athlete, so I'll select him there. I'm gonna hit test configuration. At this point, what's important that we activate both our power meter and our wheel speed sensor. What's gonna happen is the Aerolab sensor, we select the one that we're testing with. At this point, it's going to scan for all the other ant devices. Now, through the app, we connect to his power meter, as well as the aero sensor and his speed cadence sensor. At that point, he's ready to get rolling for a test. Are you ready, Matt? Let's go. All right. As Matt heads up the road in, to get into position, we use the iOS app in order to set a GPS start location. And then from there, he'll be ready to go. Okay, we now have Matt set up for our equipment testing. At this point, the app is already set up and I simply say Testing start. state is now active. At this point, it sends him a signal to the Connect IQ app that tells him to start. Earlier, we had actually set up our GPS waypoint. We have that with our technology. When we're in this area here, it's a waiting stage area and that allows us to do any changes without affecting the test itself. So this is a setup area, test zone, and then a turnaround point. Matt has just finished his fifth lap. At this point, we're gonna have a good indication of his aerodynamic performance and where we can make things better. Now that Matt's completed his testing, we're gonna sync the sensor to the iPad. At this point, we're able to get an estimated CDA or aero drag. We have the opportunity to also upload that to our cloud-based system to get a confirmed CDA. The reason we do this feature is because if you're at a location where you have poor cellular, you still have your aero drag numbers in order to work from. The aerodynamic performance of frames, wheels, helmets, and other equipment can change significantly with environmental conditions and also is rider dependent. Aerolab sensors can be used to test, log, and modify changes to equipment and body position. And remember, every watt counts.